Hey, what's up? Eddie here, and uh, again, we're in Santorini, Greece. This is your body weight flow number three. It's going to be 100 reps with a little cardio bonus round at the end. So you're going to do 25 reverse lunge, 25 side T push up, 25 swimmer lift, 25 single straight leg stretch, Pilates style. And then, bonus round will be uh, 25 walking mountain climbers, finishing with a smidge of yoga. So, we're going to get started. You're going to start with your feet, shoulder width apart. Hands go straight into the elbows, shoulders down, back body. So it's kind of like you're doing cobra pose. Keep your feet on the letter H or train track. Step back with the right or left foot, depending on how you start, and we begin. So just step back. So on this one, you want to make sure that you step back onto the ball of the foot. Drop the knee, obviously. And the lower you go, the more challenging it is. Keep your lats engaged. And a big thing on this one is you want to take your spine with you. So you don't want to leave your body forward. Take your spine with you so that when you step back, your body's moving in one line. As you come up, you want to push off the ball of the foot. And then you also want to press off the forward heel. So push, press, like so. Bring awareness to your feet and the distance between the feet so that you can stay on those train tracks. It's more of an athletic type stance. Stepping back. Once you got that, make sure you keep your shoulders drawn down the back. Chin level, chest up, spine long. Stepping back, and then you can add exhale. Modification, just keep it shallow. Last four, three, two, one. Take the knee. Side T push up, yo. So hands come underneath the shoulders, draw them down the back, tuck the tailbone. Yeah, we say tuck for this one, but not for Pilates. But for this one, you can say tuck. Squeeze your glutes. We'll start off with the regression. So you'll start with push up, turn the body, just reach. Like that. Push up, turn the body, reach. Then when you're good to go, you can be here in plank position, maybe a micro. When you reach up, your feet are going to be staggered. Hand, shoulder in line, squeezing the side body. Once you're good, then you can go further down, maybe chaturanga style, which is big in the yogi world, which means my elbows go towards my hips, shoulders still down. I'm looking three to four feet in front of my mat, so the spine stays long, and then once you're good to go, then I'm bringing my elbows towards my lats. You want to make sure that your shoulders don't roll forward. Driving the heels back, keeping the core tight, just like that. Then, a little extra, and pick up, last five, four, three, oh my god, <laughs> two, and one. And just a note on the side plank, again, you want to make sure that your shoulders over the wrist, reaching straight up. You don't want to dump your head forward or back. Try to keep head between the shoulders, squeeze, side body. All right, we're going straight into swimmer's lift. I'll start off with the regression, then build up from there. 25 reps. So you can start, make a little pillow, drop your forehead. I'm gonna turn my head towards you so you can see, and then just lift up the legs. This is nice. So you could do this for the whole 25 reps if you want. It's a nice little counter action to all the movement you've been doing. But if you want a little extra, you can reach the hands forward. Right, this is from stage two. Shoulders are down the back. Spine is long. So I'm not looking up. I'm looking about three to four feet like this little ant that just crawled into the frame. And then if you want a little extra, using your glutes, lower back, Focusing on alignment, inhaling on the way up. Last four, three, 
to Unamas. Hands come underneath. All right, push back. Last thing, Pilates style. Single straight leg stretch. Single straight leg stretch. You're gonna lean back. Right leg goes straight up. Point your foot. Then from here, hands go to the calf. Inhale, prepare through the nose. As you exhale, head and shoulders peel off the mat. You're gonna find C curve. Hips point towards rib cage. Shoulders down the back. Sternum slightly dropped in. Left foot goes forward, toes in line with forehead. And we're just gonna do an exhale breathing here. Bros, I know bros are tight. You can bend the knees. Right, if you have tight hammies, more yoga would help, but if you got tight hammies, do it this way. Or, and you can also give a little tuck. Because it is single straight leg stretch. Staying in C-curve, shoulders down the back body, elbows wide. Hips pointing towards the sternum. Imagine a seat belt from the front to the back side of your core. Regression, where you start to get fatigued, just drop that back. Call this neutral, because you have the natural curvatures of the spine as you lay flat. And then once you're good to go, when you come back up, notice the head and shoulders are lifted. Upper body is quiet. Tranquilo. For four, three, two, one. Cross the ankles, roll up. Last little bonus round, just like, what, intermediate cardio? Walking mountain climbers. So, stack. We got a pet peeve, me and Rachel do. Kind of, when we got the studio. When you do your mountain climbers, make sure that you're not here. Right? And you don't want to be here either, but your shoulders stacked. Sacred geometry. Shoulders, elbows, wrist, like so. If you can press into your thumb, middle and pinky, plank position, and just back and forth. So like basically, I'm just taking my mountain climbers for a walk. Because I get super bored with mountain climbers. So you gotta do something to add some spice to it. And this is spicy. Modification, maybe you just go shallow. But notice I'm still gonna get the shoulders over the wrist. Right? Even if I do shallow, I'm still squeezing the core. Then start to draw the knees more in, like this. And more advanced, you go quicker. Last five, four, three, two, and drop it down. Yeah. All right, I got an audience. We're gonna uh, finish with yoga. Because I'm more into yoga than I am fitness. Actually, I lie, it's 50 50. Uh, side, reverse warrior, side angle. So, down my dog. Right foot's gonna step forward. I'm out of breath out of those 100 reps. Man. Warrior two. And then from here, basics. Heel, heel alignment, shoulder over wrist, long legs. You should be able to see your big toe. Thigh almost parallel with the floor. Stay low, reach up. Option one, we're only here for three breath. Is you can have a light touch on the shin. Option two, you can wrap it. If you want extra, imagine leaning back against the wall, opening up the heart. Chalk breath. Then from here, side angle. Option one, basic. So I'm just stretching straight up, making a long line. Option two, reaching towards the C. And then option three, you can reach down. They call this finger tipping the floor. Technical. Then back into order two, windmill. Variation in your chaturanga. Right leg up, Ekapada style, lean forward, lower down, halfway, inhale up, exhale back. Left foot forward, back foot, warrior two. So from here, heel to heel alignment, and then just reach. Option one is just light touch, really opening up left side, option two. And then, as if you're doing upward dog, my hand might be out of frame. Side angle, option one, option two, option three. The struggle is real. Come back into warrior two, windmill. Make a pot of style. Again, 
I'm gonna maintain here just for one second. So spine is long, shoulders are relaxed down the back, abs are closed in. You're gonna lower down halfway. Elbows go towards the hips. Shoulders stay down the back body. Inhale. Exhale. All right, that was body weight flow number three. Thank you so much. See you next time.